Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching Georgia Beer Reviews. Back at you today with another one. What I'm looking at is from Samuel Adams. This is the Wicked Hazy Juicy New England Style IPA. Clocks in at 6.8% alcohol by volume, 35 IBUs. This is a 19.2 ounce stove pipe can. I do love these cans. I uh, bought the single, it was around three bucks, I think, for the single. Not terrible. Never had this beer before. I could never find it down in Georgia. I'm sure it was sold at some places, and I know this is one of the newer beers from them, the Wicked Hazy, and then the Wicked Double, which I also bought a single of. I'll be reviewing that at some point in the near future. Uh, but for whatever reason, just never could get this beer. Never saw this beer down in Georgia, and now I see it everywhere up here in Massachusetts. So picked it up and pretty excited to try it. I do love some juicy New England IPAs. Let's go ahead and get into this. All right, it does have a nice hazy appearance. Not really murky though, just hazy. Not like your Trillium Treehouse stuff, but uh, very nice appearance. As you can see with the light shining through it, it's a bright orange color. About two and a half fingers worth of a relatively creamy looking, slightly off-white head. The aroma, very juicy. Getting some tangerine. A little bit of a berry note with this, which is interesting. Kind of like strawberry, I think, is what I'm picking up. Yeah, a little bit of strawberry. Definitely the tangerine. Maybe a little bit of, pain, of uh, mango pineapple in there too. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It smells really good, um, nice and juicy up front. A little bit of malty character coming through once you get through the hop aroma. Some nice bready notes like white bread notes on the nose. None of the alcohol is coming through at 6.8%. It smells like a winner. So without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers. Very good. Orange. The pineapple's coming through more on the aroma. And then a little bit of mango too. So there is some nice tropical fruit action going on with this. I still pick up on a little bit of strawberry, which is interesting. It's very delightful, but it's not something that I would usually pick up on with a New England style IPA. But yeah, there's definitely a little bit of a berry note in there. Nice bready center. You're getting some nice lightly toasted white bread, maybe a little bit of wheat bread in there as well. Very bready in the middle. So you get the nice fruity notes up front, the nice bready center, and then the finish is pretty juicy. It's not really a drying finish. It's a juicy finish. It's very refreshing in that regard, and you just want to keep sipping on it. Sometimes with the higher alcohol, 6.8 not really being that high, but sometimes when you get over 6, 7%, you get that drying effect with the alcohol going down, even if it is a juicy type beer. But with this one, I'm not getting any kind of a drying effect. It's juicy all the way through, even after you swallow it down. It is a short-lived finish, though. It drops off pretty quickly. Nothing lingers on the palate, and you do want to go right back in there for another sip. So in that sense, it is very sessionable, scary sessionable at 6.8% because you could just drink these all day. And with the slightly elevated alcohol content, you could get a little tipsy pretty quickly, I guess, because um, this is going down super, super smooth. The body is going into medium, but it's relatively light, all things considered. And look at that head just rebuild as I topped it off there. Beautiful appearance, beautiful head. Carbonations on the medium side. It does have a nice prickly carbonation. Just a wonderful beer from Samuel Adams. This is this is a winner. I'm really impressed with this, and I can't wait to try the Juicy Double version of this, which, which I believe is 8.3 or 8.4%. Um, but really looking forward to trying that one. But I'm very, very impressed with this beer from Samuel Adams, especially up here in New England uh, with all of the competition with the New England Juice Bombs. This one holds its own. 
uh, from a bigger brewery, you know, that's not always the case. Uh, it's hard to beat out some of these really awesome local craft beers that make New England juice bombs. And this is one that can hold its own with the best of them. Uh, I'm going to go with a 96 out of 100 with this. I think it's a solid A getting up there. It's definitely a winner. Um, it's really not much else to say other than it's a, it's a solid beer, and I definitely think that you should try it for all of the reasons that I've mentioned uh, already with the flavor notes, the body, uh, the finish, the nice tropical fruit notes are really nice. That little bit of a berry thing in there is really nice as well. So awesome stuff from Samuel Adams. So the Wicked Hazy Juicy New England Style IPA. Buy it, try it, let me know what you guys think. 96 out of 100. That'll do it for this beer. If you guys hope you're all having a wonderful day. And until next time, everybody, cheers.